wanted to give you some insight into our seeding process because it's not as straightforward sometimes as it may seem. Uh, we use a, a pelleted seed. Uh, we source our stuff from Johnny's. Um, some red butter lettuce here. Uh, we use pelleted seed because it makes it easier to uh, plant. It's just easier to deal with. Uh, and we get these plugs out of um, uh, from an aquaponics uh, supplier. And these are made with coca coir and cellulose so that they hold their shape and we can insert them into our rafts directly without any type of net pots. Um, wanted to talk shortly about something, what, what happens when you need to seed something that isn't as uh, convenient as this pelleted Salanova seed, i.e. sorrel. Sorrel is tiny, 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 tiny seeds. And so what we use here is we have these handy dandy uh, little seeding tools I got this from Johnny's, and it's essentially just set up with different uh, um, size holes. So depending on the seed you're using, you can, let me see if I can get this out. Sorry about that. You can, depending on the size of the seed, which we'll be using this one here, uh, have more control over it. So I'm going to put this all together here and show you what that looks like. So here we are loading this sorrel seed into the cedar here. You can see it's a very small seed. You don't need to load too much because we've got enough for this 128 cell tray. So then we got to choose which size hole we want to use depending on the size of the seed. Let's see if I can get this set up here. You can see that when you go like this, you get just one seed coming out there. So that's that's kind of like what we want. So we have control over how much we're seeding. So here we are seeding. It's one of those things that it's pretty simple. You just have to make sure that the seeds are pushed in enough so that when you water them, they're not gonna just go all over the place and float with the water off the tray. So we found that this is kind of, even though it takes a little while, it's not the most refined way of doing it. It's the way that we found works. Uh, so just one by one, push this in. We only have to do about four of these trays a week, so it's not that labor intensive when it all comes down to it. Uh, maybe if we scale up, we'll have to get a more commercial uh, alternative to save some labor, but as it stands now, it only takes like 10 minutes to plan everything we need to for the week, so it's not a big deal. I'm just giving you some insight here into our watering routine. So what we do is we have a simple uh, watering can I got from Johnny's a few years back. Uh, we use our aquaponics water to water all of our seedlings. We found that makes a huge difference in the growth rate and uh, how they look. So these are going to be our next seedlings that we're coming up on. Um, See, just the aqua, they love this aquaponics water. It has lots of nutrients for them because we, you know, we keep it all topped up with good stuff. Uh, but these ones right here are going to be the next ones transplanted. Uh, I've got several generations of things here. Uh, going back here, so this is going to be our oldest stuff here. And these are going to be a week younger. And then these ones we just planted here today. And so we plant every week, so then we can make sure that we have um, something to put into the system and transplant every week. Uh, we end up getting, you know, having some waste because I want to always make sure that we have enough stuff. So these these are actually some extra lettuces that we haven't had the space to put into the system quite yet. But once we harvest some stuff at the end, there our rotation begins. These go in and they move slowly down this line here and we cycle through each raft about once a month. 